Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to join two pieces of SWA together for an underground joint. This is a resin field joint, comes as a complete kit. Inside we have the joint shell itself. Some instructions. You need to look at them. It tells you how much abrasion to make on the outer sheath of the SWA cable and when the inner core should be jointed. Resin. Make sure you wear gloves whilst using that. That's a set of gloves that actually comes in the box, but I won't be using them. Earthing strap kit. And a roll of tape. Now we need to prepare the cable. I like to keep everything nice and neat. So I always put a couple of wraps of black tape around where I'm going to abrade. So to do the abrasion, you can use a file, sandpaper, a rasp. Now I've dug so many joints out of the ground that failed because people haven't done this part. It basically lets water into the, well, it can let water into the joint. You need to abrade, it gives the resin something to stick to so that there's no path for water to travel into the connectors. Hope that makes sense. You're basically roughing up the surface so there's nothing shiny because if not, the resin won't actually stick to it properly. This kit, you just snap all the bits and pieces off. It's, so it's got two parts, which is bottom and top of the joint shell. Then it's got some core dividers, which you'll put in to separate the terminations. And it's got a lid on it as well. Oh yes, make sure you've got a nice sharp pencil. That pencil there is actually called a China Graph. It's white. A lot of cable joiners use it. It's brilliant for marking up shoes. Flop art, nice pencils if you're into pencils. All right, next bit I'm doing on the shell, you basically have to cut out slots of the cable, sit inside it. It's got little grooves on. Offer it up to the cable, check the width, and then basically just cut it off. You'll need to do each side of that and obviously cut the same ones out of the lid as well, the top, when you go to put it on later. You will notice after this that you'll see me using a ruler and a pencil. What I'm doing there in the joint shell is I'm marking the center because that's where my connectors are going to be. And the reason being is I'll be able to then start measuring the cable of how much abrasion needs to be inside the shell, outside of the shell, because in this joint kit instructions, it tells you to leave 10 mil outside of the shell. So the reason I mark it, it just makes life so much easier. And then when I go to strip the other cable, I can use... The cable I've already done up against it, so all the measurements are the same, if that makes sense. If it don't, just let me know and I'll slow it down. Um, if you do want to know anything about jointing, whether it's DNO joints, private joints, hit me up, let me know what you want to see, and I'll help you the best I can. Yeah, there's your instruction manual. The measurements are usually in the kits, if you buy a complete kit. So this is me marking up where I'm going to cut back my SWA still wide armor servings. And I, again, I like to put the tape around there. Then I can just use my hacksaw to go along that edge. It just keeps it all nice and neat. Because trust me, if you cut these on the wonk and you've got a little joint shell and you haven't got a lot of room, it causes you a lot of problems later. 
So I'm using the big hacksaw there. I have got a junior hacksaw. I've also got depth gauge hacksaws as well. I just prefer using the bigger one. It's slightly quicker. Just make sure you're only cutting about halfway through the steel wire armors. Don't go mad. You don't need to cut all the way through them. Because once you take the top sheath off, you'll just bend the armors back on the cells and they just snap off. Guys, when you're doing this as well, make sure you're wearing a set of glasses. Um, I've done it before where I've been stripping off big ends going into big um, consume units of fuse boards and whatnot. And um, I have had one of them pieces nearly poke my eye out. So, uh, one of the pieces, shall I say, nearly poke my eye out. Um, they are dangerous. Now, all I'm doing is just removing the outer insulation. And now I'm cutting the inner insulation around the conductors, aka cables. Again, with that, just go easy. Just if you cut it with a, a knife, that's a proper jointer's knife I'm using there. But you can use a standing knife. Just don't go too deep. And you're better off go a little bit, split the cable at the end, and you can actually use a core to to pull back on the insulation to get it off as well. Last thing you want to be doing is scoring through the cores. Just gives it another route for moisture to get into or a short circuit occurring. Seems a bit far fetched for a joint, but it can happen. Again, guys, just remember my videos. Um, I like to do tutorials, etc. Most mo most of mine that I make, and when it comes to jointing stuff, it's a demonstration to show you. There's so many different joint kits out there you can buy. You can go to Screw Fix, Tool Station, loads of different places, City Electrical, whatever. They'll all be different joints. Nine out of ten will have instructions in a box, and they might ask of a different method. That the, the earth strap might be different. The armors might need to be longer. There's just I'm just giving you a pure demo in this video, just to show you how simple these are actually to put together. So there you see that I was using my joint shell to add my white china pencil mark in the middle. So I offered up the cable nice and easy. I didn't have to measure every individual core. What I'm doing there is I'm just putting nice little offset bends in the crutch of the cores, just so it sits nicely in the joint. Because I want to leave a gap around the shell for the resin to flow when it goes in. And that end is nearly ready. To know how much to strip off from my cable ends, I literally just held the connector up to it. And there's my earth strap that's going to go across. And then two roll springs. Another reason you need to wear gloves, them roll springs, they are lethal. They always cut your fingers if you don't wear gloves. Oh, I told you wrong, actually. I hadn't taken the um, insulation off the end of the thing. I'm doing it now. Yeah. Well, I've already told you right now. Just remember, guys. Cutters are for cutting, knives are for stripping. So I've been a little bit naughty there. However, I've been doing it a little while, so it's not very often I ever damage a core. Okay? Just in case anyone starts saying in the comments, oh, you should be using a stripping knife. Yeah, I know that, guys. Again, demo. Well done with this video as well, guys, because it, it can take a while when you're trying to make these and you're showing everyone... Um, the construction of this so i've just sped it up you've already seen me do one cable the other cable is exactly the same preparation
just while this is going through. I must admit, these aren't a bad little joint kit. I don't know how much they are. Um, I will drop you a link in the video description. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that, but just so you can go to their website and see what kits they offer. So in that pack, it did come with an Allen key, um, which did suffice for this job, so I did use it. I mean, normally I'd use a T-bar, but um, yeah, the Allen key works. And there we have it, guys. All done up, nice and tight, cables jointed together, and there's my dog, Lacey. She loves interrupting when I'm doing something in the garden. Bottom cover. That fit nicely. Now, with this tape, it says in the instructions to put some tape around the connectors. Now, they are bare. They're not insulated connectors, so that does make perfect sense. So rather than trying to go around the whole thing sideways or lengthways should we say um i've done top and bottom just to know in a in a second once i've done these um there is actually like a core divider two plastic parts it's pretty stiff but i did use that i did put it in after because it is pretty good because if for some reason your tape was to fall off come unstuck or you miss a bit the conductors won't be able to touch each other. So I did use that part. Yeah, here it is here. So the, the two pieces go together and ends up like a bit of a cross. Yeah, admittedly it did take me a second to uh, to work it out, but I did get there in the end. Okay, mate. I was getting a little bit vexed right there. But I'm determined to get in. And there you go. Now, I'll keep calling this the earth strap because that's just what I know it as and it is. So that is the earth that's going back across your steel wide armoured, yeah? Like a strap earth. Yeah, that's probably a good word for it. And that's to make sure that the armours are still continuously earth throughout because if you don't put that in, then the armours no longer have reference to earth. Now, I'm not getting into earthing in this video. I'm just showing you a joint, okay? So, I would have done this anyway. I have on every joint. The instructions do show you on there to cut that insulation off that earth braid twice the length of the SWAs, the steel wide armors that you got cut. Because the idea is when you put the roll spring round once, you then bend that back on itself. It's just a good, good fit, fixing, shall I say, so the earth's never going to fall out. Well, hopefully not. Unless some plonker decides to come and dig your joint up with a JCB and chop straight through it and you have to do another one anyway. Or some street lighting guy cutting through the pavement with a steel saw and then using the breaker at 450 mil deep and going through the cave. No, I'm just going on now, guys. I'm just joking. So... Put them roll springs, roll springs on. Funny enough, I had to stop the video in a second because uh, the roll spring, I told you they were sharp, it actually split straight from my glove and it literally just touched my skin. Actually, no. No, I've already cut that bit out slightly down. Of 
Oh, I'm not doing too well today, guys, am I? It's one of them. It's been a long day, though. Um, been working all day, so I've put this one together for you this afternoon. I do apologise as well for the length of the video. I couldn't short it, shorten it down anymore. Um, I am new to doing this, so if you got any constructive criticism... Let me know if I need to be closer with the camera, further away, if it needs to be shorter, what, well, tell me. Um, this isn't my day job. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to know. And that's it, guys. That is the actual connection part constructed. Next, you just need to put the joint shell together. I'm just checking there that I've got enough of braid outside, like the drawing says, and I have. It's perfect, obviously, because I've done it. There, I'm just cutting the top so that the cable fits in. And the only bit left to do after this, guys, fill the resin up. All I will say about the resin is, yeah, make sure you wear gloves. When you mix it, mix it up for a couple of minutes. I'm not going to show you me filling the joint. It's not really necessary. Um, once that shell's on there, we're going to tape the ends with what's provided. On some other joint kits, you'll actually have some foam that you might put around the outside first and then the tape. But this one, it only supplies tape, so I'm just using what I've got in the kit. Um, with the resin, when we get onto that part, just fill it up nice and slow. When it gets towards the top, let it settle for a good few seconds. Then just get, I don't know, screwdriver, anything. Just gently tap the shell just to get any air bubbles out because you don't want any pockets of air inside the joint. Put your lid on. In the summer, leave it half an hour and it'll go off quite well. In the winter, you might want to leave it a bit longer because the resin doesn't set as quick. Um, I think that is about it, guys. Not a lot more to tell you. Um, that is a straight-up review. No fluff. If there's anything you're not sure about, anything I didn't show, do, or tell, just let me know. Um, I do a lot of joints daily, so it's something that I can do to show you. So, yeah, just, just let me know. Again, thanks for watching. Guys, I appreciate it's a new channel, and I've only literally got a few videos on it. But to have the subscribers really will help me to make sure that this is worth my while. People are enjoying my content. People are watching. Just, um, yeah, if you could, I'll be really grateful. Thanks a lot. Enjoy the rest of the video.